35 years of owning the boat. Started when I was 16. My family would come down from Pawtucket. My brothers and sisters and uh, mother, they always went to the beach right here. This beach right here. And I didn't like the beach. I would always walk out on a wall and fish. And then one day, uh, a guy, his mate didn't show up. He asked if I could go. My father says, go ahead, try it. And then he fired his mate that night and hired me. It took a good 20 years to build the business up and fish as much as we do. It's a labor of love. If I put the amount of hours I put into this and did something else, I'd be rich today. I was in the spring and I just went down below to uh, do some work in the, the back of the engine and um, the string from my hood got caught on the shaft, it was spinning. It spun up on the shaft really, really quickly, like in seconds, and pulled my head in. Um, and then my arm got caught in there. Uh, it all happened within seconds. And uh, I finally fell out of it and uh, ended up in Rhode Island Hospital before I knew it. My phone went off with a text message from the resident and fellow with a series of x-rays and a picture of Dave's hand. The image was basically of a, a completely degloved um, hand. When the accident happened, it was cut off right here. It was just hanging. All the bones were sticking out. That first night after they saw me, stabilized me. That's, I guess, the next day um, is when we had to make the decisions. When we discussed with Dave his options moving forward, one was an amputation, basically through the mid forearm. We were going to cut it off right here the first night, but then Dr. Gott explained it to me that it's better to have a part of your hand than not have it at all. The other alternative was this chest wall flap that uh, we were willing to try, which would involve putting his hand in his chest wall for around four weeks or so. It was sewed in right here. We then sequentially basically lengthened the flap while it's still attached to the patient's chest, and that causes the flap to draw more of its blood flow from the back of the hand. The flap can then be harvested from that chest wall with skin graft placed, and we can get coverage of these large defects. This is actually my chest skin right here. Dave was in the hospital approximately three to four weeks as an inpatient. He then was discharged and had dressing changes with us for the next subsequent several weeks before he had inset of his flap. I'm so happy that we, we, we took the route of trying to save the hand. And I was very, very lucky to have, uh, to have met Dr. Gott. Uh, he was, we call him the A-Team. I got pictures of him with his whole staff wearing Mako 2 t-shirts. He's just a, a, a person that you would want to have as a friend and as a doctor. He became family. How are you? I'm doing awesome, man. Good to you see too? you. You too. Good to see you. How are you? Uh, doing good. Dave and I went through a lot. Yeah. I mean, anyone would be really depressed after something like this. I mean, he was asking me every day, you know, his livelihood. Is he going to be able to return to being on the boat and doing what he's always done? He's, this is Chris. This is all I know. I see a lot of patients, say, once a week or every other week. I saw Dave every day for months almost, so it was a lot of time together. We went fishing and uh, we've stayed in touch ever, ever since. since. You know, he's the salt of the earth. Like, you ask him for this shirt and he'd give it to me, you know, even if it was. I got a hat for you. Outside. No, it's like this one. Yeah. I yeah. need it because I burn my bald spot now all the time. I got so thin the last few years. See what you did to me? Well, the, I, the, I don't want to say nothing, but the, the, the glare is getting to me. <laughs>